Hey guys, it's Thea with Gingham and Glue. Hey, so welcome back. Um, I have been, as usual, having all sorts of technical dif difficulties. Um, and you'll probably notice that my um, Gingham and Glue image as well as the music are missing <laughs> from my video. But um, I, I'm going to try um, to not put those in for a little while and see if it makes a difference um, as far as being able to upload my videos. So hopefully that will fix things. And then I can actually start getting videos up uh, more often. Oh, it's just been a mess. Anyway, so, but I thought I'd hop on here real quick and give you a little walk through or flip through of my Halloween junk journal I just finished. I am so happy about this. This is the cute, this has just turned out so cute and apologize for my hands. They're covered in glue. I, I just finished up. So um, this was made out of a, a piece of junk mail that I decoupaged with a napkin and then underneath the napkin before I decoupaged it, I layered it with some scrapbook paper, uh, some stamping, uh, some lace, that kind of thing, those kinds of things, um, just like I did with my traveler's journal. So um, anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look. Um, as you can see, I we've got a little bit of a see-through. It looks like a pocket, but it's not. Um, I just kind of turned it into sort of like a specimen um, see-through window, I guess, uh, is, is how I would describe it. Put a little bit of a little label here with some brads and a pumpkin and some cheesecloth. Um, did some black lace along the edging and then some green uh, around the window because those edges were, uh, those edges were pretty rough. Uh, I did do some candy corn ribbon on the spine and I did do um, a pocket on the outside and I'll show that to you but I did sew um, all the way around it once I was done cutting everything out. So, um, and then I tied it off with some cheesecloth, which I thought worked. Um, you know, it's Halloween. You're talking about mummies, mummy wraps, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm going to open this up and we'll flip to the first page we've got a little little journaling card that i sewed uh, did a little zigzag and straight stitch on and what i did for each page um i took two different halloween digi kits um and i will be sure to link them below um and i glued both pieces i printed them out on cardstock i glued them both together and then I took some coffee stained paper, I cut it to size, I did a single stitch, and then I glued that down to the page itself um, because I really loved the DigiKit papers um, because they're just so neat. And I wanted to be able to see those and have plenty of them. So, and this is actually, this is a fairly small junk journal, but um, I, I started to get a little carried away with <laughs> the signature again. Um, which I tend to do, but you know, you really do have to be careful when you're using the, um, alter junk mail, um, and decoupaging it because it'll, it'll really put a strain on the spine. Um, I did open up the spine just a little bit by scoring an extra line so that it would give me just a little bit of, of, uh, wiggle room to get in my signature. So, um, and then I've got all kinds of different ephemera in here from different kits. Um, some of these are going to be from My Porch Prints, um, I believe Calico Collage, and I, there's some others. I'll see if I can't um, uh, remember them all and get them up. So, yeah, so I did the same thing here, just a little bit of ephemera. I did a belly band, a label belly band, and then put a little collage. I collaged uh, some cardstock with the DigiKit papers and then backed it with some coffee stained paper and then just put some ribbon and jute twine in there and then and then just slid that right in there, which I thought was super cute. And we got a, another page, um, journaling page, a corner pocket. I made a cute little paper clip embellishment with the skull, backed it with some of the 
the digi kit paper so i thought that was really cute i was going to make some more but i i didn't want to fill this too much and this is actually kind of bulky so um and then we've got two pockets on either side i filled them with some some ephemera some of that collaged journaling um a, a collage journaling card some some halloween ephemera little specimen card so yeah these are just so cute love them love them a little a little more ephemera here another journaling page now i did leave um some pages some of the digi kit pages um, or imaged pages uh, blank so whoever purchases this that you can embellish to your heart's content um, I didn't want to fill it too much so another journaling page another one another corner pocket with some ephemera and then this is the center signature I did a double pocket here and sewed and glued it down and then trimmed it with some lace and um, rickrack and some really fun uh, journaling cards. Those are fun. Another journaling page, a little corner pocket here. And you can fill that with, you know, whatever you'd like. We've got another journaling page, some more ephemera. I did a side tuck here, just put a little piece of coffee stained paper in there. Isn't that cute? So adorable. Another corner pocket, some more, another, a, some more ephemera or journaling card. Another side tuck, another journaling page. And then this is um, a folded piece of paper um, I got the idea from Natasha with uh, Treasure Books, and I believe she got it from Crafty Irina, I believe. Um, and it's really, really easy to make. Um, I will see, I did make another one, um, and it is, seriously guys, this is like the easiest piece of ephemera you could possibly make. It is so simple. Um, I'll be sure to link uh, Natasha's video below so that you know how to do this. I'm sure you've probably seen it, but yeah, they're really easy to make. So, and then just put a cute little tag in the back pocket, another piece of ephemera. I did line the pay, uh, two of the pockets with some of my leftover Halloween napkin, which I think turned out really, really cute. I, I loved it. Um, and then I just, I turned this corner up, as you can see, this one is not turned up. I just turned it up just for some, you know, extra embellishment, sort of, and then inked it up. Then I sewed around and put, you know, obviously some ephemera and some lace. So yeah, that turned out just really, really cute. I love the napkin um, lining. So, and then this is the back cover and it, I did turn that into a pocket and it is lined on both sides. One side is the decoupage napkin, the other side is collaged uh, digi kit paper. So, and then I just put in a piece of coffee stained paper and just did a little label on the bottom. And that is it. That is my first Halloween junk journal. I am getting ready to do another one. Um, and that one's going to be a little more labor intensive, uh, because I'm dealing with, uh, fabric and, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. So I hope you like that and I hope it gives you some really great ideas. Um, I will, like I said, hopefully by eliminating, unfortunately, my gingham and glue label and my, um, music, it'll intro music, it'll, it'll speed things up just a little bit. So um, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Like I said, I'll be sure to put some links below to the digi kits and uh, um, Natasha's video on the on the folded pocket. And this will be going up in my Etsy shop here very soon. I have this uh, one other journal and um, an altered mini paper bag ephemera holder going up as well. So I'll be sure to link my 
uh, Etsy shop below as well. So thanks so much, guys. I hope everyone, like I said, is having a great day and we'll see you and talk to you again soon. Bye.